Hello, yeah. all the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. Pastor yeah. Johnny Lasse. No, I'm so much excited. Yes. Today, you open with the prayer for the uh, preaching the gospel and spreading the salvation to the world. Praise the Lord. Spreading salvation to the nations. God bless you. Thank you very much, everybody. I can pray for you. Come here. Any sickness, okay? Body pain? Leg pain? Back pain? Bone pain? Arthritis? HIV positive? Any sickness, okay? Any kind of sickness? Come over here. If you are not sick, no problem. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, okay? Any kind of sickness, okay? The healing is free. Deliverance is free. Eternal life is free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come, come. God bless you. Brother, God bless you. Thank you. So, officially, Shake the Nations UK is going to start our street evangelism. We are spreading. This is an international revival meeting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I was so much excited. Pastor Mike is with me. Pastor Mike is here. Brother Edmund is here. They will pray one minute time. I mean, we will meet Pastor Mike to pray one minute. After that, Brother Edwin will pray one minute. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor for this wonderful day that we have made, that we must be here and rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord, in this transport area, as we have come right now, under shake the nations, in the name of Jesus, as we open the floodgates of heaven, we say, Lord, be with us as we invite you, Holy Spirit, for without you we can do nothing. We need your presence right now, we need your presence right now. We need your presence right now, Holy Spirit. Take charge, take over, take over, take over, take over, Holy Ghost. We thank you. We glorify your name, we give you praise. The day that the Lord has made, we thank you for your goodness, we thank you for your kindness, we thank you for every good thing that you have done in our lives, and our lives will never be same because God. When you open doors, no man can shut. And when you shut the doors, no man can open. We thank you for open doors, my God, in this city of Stratford. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge. For everyone passing by, Father, let up the words of our mouth, my God. Reach them, Father. Touch them, my God. We glorify your name. We honor you, King of kings, Lords of lords. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. As we stand right here, my God, in this city, Stratford area, in the name of Jesus, let the people in this area be saved by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, you have put us here for a reason and a purpose. We are not here, my God, for nothing, but we are here to present the kingdom of God so that the kingdom of darkness will have no place. We pray that, Lord, all those who are going to listen today, they are going to be saved in the name of Jesus. Touch the hearts of men. Touch the hearts of women. Touch the hearts of everybody, Father. We thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. May your joy, my God, our joy be made full, for we understand and you know that God is able to do exceedingly above what we can think, above what we can imagine. What shall we say? If God opened the door, no man can shut. We have opened the door, my God, for us to come to this place and present your kingdom and preach the kingdom of God and preach the word in season and out of season. We shall not take down, we shall not give up, but we stand for the truth. And that is the truth that will set people free free from bondage, free from the powers of darkness, free from sickness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Deliver your people right now today in the name of Jesus. We are, we are looking forward to the work of God, the power of God. Miracles happen every day. Whatever we do, whatever we stand for, we see the move of God, the power of God. This is the day that we have made. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. I glorify your name and give you the praise in Jesus' name. I pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We love you, we bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, King of Glory. Take over, take over, take over, take over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is an international revival meeting. God bless you. Come for everybody. The people are walking here. This is the best opportunity which our God has given to you forever. Praise the Lord. To listen the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever 
you are here in this word of God. When day heaven and earth will heal you, hear you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Jolly Lasse. I pray a long trip. I am here today preaching the powerful word of God to the nations. I want to say to everybody, this word of God is the power of the Lord. Whoever believes, God bless you. This Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Our God will deliver you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say to all the people, in Jesus Christ, there is salvation. In Jesus Christ, there is eternal life. Oh, Lord, I can pray for you. In Jesus Christ, there is everlasting life. In Jesus Christ, there is life everlasting. In Jesus Christ, there is a forgiveness of your sins. Does it matter which country you are from? Does it matter what is your religion? Today, in this early time, I want to deliver this good news to everybody. In Jesus' name, there is a miracle healing in your life. Not only in your life, but in the all the areas of your life, wherever you are going, you can see the glory of the Lord if you are in crisis. Praise the Lord. I want to sing one song. You deserve the glory. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. Lord, you are great. You are great. Blessed I pray. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a first day of glory divine. Our salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washing His blood. This is my story. This is my soul, praising my Savior, oh God, this is my story. I can prophesy, come on. This is my soul, praising my Savior, oh God, Lord. I can prophesy, come on. Perfect submission, perfect delight, patience of rapture, now burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above, because of mercy, 
this piece of love. This is my story. This is my soul. Rising my savior. Oh, daddy. This is my story. This is my soul. Rising my savior. All the day long. Praise the Lord. Everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Ramji. I'm so much encouraged. I was here three months before. The Stratford Lennon. Praise the Lord. Shall be set by the blood of Jesus Christ. I can show this place. Praise the Lord. To all the people. This is Stratford Lennon. Praise the Lord. This is City Sunday. All the people are walking here. Praise the Lord. People are walking. Straight or directly or indirectly, people are walking. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. This is a powerful time which our God has given to everybody. Praise the Lord. I want to say today, praise the Lord. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, what the 3 says? God bless you. Book of Ephesians, chapter 1. What the three says? We are blessed. God bless you. With all the spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. We are. Come, I can pray for you. Come on. I can pray for you. Any sickness. We are spiritually, physically, and financially. We all are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. So today, I can pray for you, come Brother, I can pray for you. One minute. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can pray for you. Healing will happen. Come forward. Please come. If you want, you can come. Praise the Lord. Any of the people are suffering sickness, working difficulties. Why I am calling? When I was preaching the gospel, in North UK, one of the person he was walking with a walking st stick. When I preached, after that, that person, he was walking without walking stick. Praise the Lord. Am I right? You have seen video. Hallelujah. This Jesus Christ is still alive. So today, I want to encourage to all the people. The people are working in Stratford City Center under the heaven and earth. Only one name can get you the salvation. That is only the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, there is a salvation. In Jesus Christ, there is a forgiveness of your sin. God bless you. In Jesus Christ, there is life everlasting. In Jesus Christ, Satana, Satan. Satan is a devil. Yes. Satan will not just come and stand in front of Jesus Christ, brother. Because we are here. Satan will go away. Because Satan doesn't have any weapon. Am I right? He is a no weapon. He is not having any weapon. Yes. And we are having the weapon. <laughs> Heavenly weapon. We are standing in the heaven. Representing from the heaven. Praise the Lord. With the greatest of power and authority. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the satanic world will go away. <laughs> like that. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so, Pastor Jolie today, I want to encourage to all the people. Satan cannot ruin your life. Satan cannot overcome your life. Today, I want to say, the people are watching online. The people are hearing this word of God. If Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ is the messenger. Jesus Christ is Lord, brother. Is not that your thinking that's wrong? Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is the messenger. 
Amen. Have you had to say from him? He's God. He's in God himself. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. See, Jesus Christ is a messenger. That means that is not a messenger. We are preaching Bible. We are preaching the written gospel. We are not preaching any other gospel. We are preaching the living God. The gospel is the power of the Lord. So, I want to encourage to all the people, Jesus Christ is a Lord and Savior. Who are believes that Jesus is a Lord and Savior? Bible says, everybody, each and every people, each and every people, will be getting eternal life and eternal glory. Praise the Lord. Another thing, I want to encourage to all the people, if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, Bible says, your situations will get changed. Your circumstances will get changed. What all the situation today you are facing today, you can come out from all your bad circumstances in the name of Jesus Christ. I am prophet, I am prophet. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Okay. Pastor John is real in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So, healing is guaranteed. Deliverance is guaranteed. Eternal life is guaranteed. Eternal glory is guaranteed. Praise the Lord. Bible says, as for you received the Jesus precious given, a power, an authority, a position to become the children of God. Praise the Lord. Another thing. I want to pray to all the people. I want to ask to all the people. When you are believing, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. There are five things that are going to happen in your life. The number one, the Bible says, you can become the children of God. You are the child of God by knowing Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. The second one, I want to say to all the people, when you are believing, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You are not only the children of God, but you have got an inheritance in Christ Jesus. So, all the people are in that world. This is a powerful word of God. Today, this very evening, I want to declare to the world, in Jesus' name, there is a victory. In Jesus' name, there is the salvation. In Jesus' name, there is life everlasting. Come on, come on, come on. One minute, one minute. Prayer is very important. Come on. You have any sickness? Come on, come on, study. Hello. You have any sickness in your body? Do you, do you have any sickness in your body? I don't. Praise God. Pray for your name. What's your name? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Susan right now. Bless Susan right now, Father. Rita Taka Latu, Reggie. Shinta Taka Latu, spiritual blessing, Father. Let the power move to Susan right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, all the people are watching online. Praise the Lord. We are blessed spiritually, physically. God bless you. Thank you for hearing. Okay. Spiritually, physically. And financially, we are blessed in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Another thing, the manifestation of Jesus Christ in this world. Everybody, each and every day, I can profit, I can profit. People are having work and difficulty. People are working with the sick. I can profit, I can profit. One minute. 
asking. I will call everybody for the prayer. But if you want to come, you can come and receive the healing. Healing is very important in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you. I can pray for you. Come on. Any sickness, any jobless, depressions, anxiety, HIV positive, cancer, neck pain, body pain. Praise the Lord. Sleepless, tensions. Come forward. <laughs> Only one medicine, Jesus Christ's name. Glory to God. <laughs> In Jesus' name, everything will be happening. Hallelujah. Nothing shall be impossible with the God. Nothing. With the God, everything is possible. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Because of this reason, today, Pastor John is come on, come on, preaching the gospel to the nations. Bible says, Jesus Christ said. I am the way, I am the light, I am the truth. Jesus Christ is a right way in our life. Praise the Lord. Only one Jesus Christ can get you salvation. Praise the Lord. Only one Jesus Christ can get you salvation. Only one Jesus Christ can get you eternal life. Only one Jesus Christ can get you eternal glory. That is the name of Jesus Christ is in front of Jesus Christ. All the names under the heaven and earth, all the names will obey this name. Praise the Lord. Another thing, the manifestation of Jesus Christ in this world to get everybody Eternal life, you will not get perish. I can pray for you. Come on. I can pray for you. If you are interested, I can pray for you. Come, couple, both of them. Nothing to worry. Nothing to worry. I can pray for you. Any sickness? Any sickness, I can pray for you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Any sickness? Any depressions? If you need a prayer request, you can come forward. We are the pastors standing here with the heavenly authority and power. Divine power is there in our heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Devil cannot stand in front of Pastor Jolly. Devil will run away. Praise the Lord. The reason is the creator of the world is sitting in my heart. Praise the Lord. Today, I want to say to all the people, the book of John, chapter 5, where this one says, those who are believing Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. We are born from above. Praise the Lord. We all are the born from above. The wicked one cannot touch your body. What is the meaning of the wicked one? I want to ask to all the people. The people are, did you accept Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior? I want to ask to all the people, who is the wicked one? One who is destroying your life, that is the wicked one. In the Bible, his name is Say that. Thank you. But today, this is a good news today. I want to say to all the people, Bible says, those who are in Christ Jesus, we are a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Maybe situations are against your life. Circumstances are against your life. Bible says, if you are in Christ Jesus, yeah. you are rooted, you are planted in Christ Jesus. You are well watered every day from Christ Jesus. Because of this reason, you cannot be a failure in Christ Jesus. In all the places, in all the areas of your life, if you are in Christ Jesus, you can see the glory, the victory, the success from the God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what? Book of Gospel. John. Hallelujah. Chapter 40. Mm. Gospel John. Chapter 40. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Gospel John. Chapter 40. Bible says, Do not be afraid. Mm. Bible says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me. Bible says very clearly to everybody. Let not your heart be troubled. 
believe in me. That means each and every people, all the people, those who are working in the city centre, I want to say to all the people, the day, the time, the moment when you are believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Saviour, your situations will get changed. My Lord, in the Bible, there is a character called, my Lord, Martha and Mary. Her brother, nine called, last one called, died. They were too much depressed. But Jesus Christ has seen their hurt. When Jesus Christ went to them, we can see, within a shortest of time, they could see the glory of the Lord. How the Martha and Mary could see the glory of the Lord? The reason is that that person came from the death to the life. Come for, come for. I can pray for you. People are going to work in the figure. Call them, call them. Call them. That's my gear, call them. Everybody. Whether they are coming or not, that is not a problem. Calling is our, problem, our duty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The lots of examples are there in the Bible. There was a woman. She was having 12 years for that. But in the name of Jesus Christ. When she believed, she gives God away. But today, in this time, in this moment, I want to declare to all the people in this Bible, it is written, everything is the true gospel. Come on, I can pray for you. I can pray for you. You want me to pray? You want any prayer? Come for me. I can pray for you. Did you accept? Did you accept Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Come on. You want prayer? You want to pray? Ask. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the New Testament. In the New Testament. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Lord and Savior. Their situations. Our God was changing their situation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what book of Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 says, You rise and shine, the glory of the Lord has come upon to you. This is the will of God towards everybody, each and every people. Come on. Those who are working in the city today, everybody should believe and accept the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Come on, brother. I can pray for you. Come on. Everybody, each and every people, they should believe the powerful name of Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, all the characters in the Old Testament, Abraham, Jacob, and David, they were the servant of God. But in the New Testament, Bible says, Asmanias believed that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. I can pray for you. Come on, brother. I can pray for you. Yes, I'm calling you. I can pray one minute. You don't need to talk. Come on, brother. If you want any sickness. If you have not want. <laughs> if you have any sickness. <laughs> don't want anything. God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. Very sickness. I can pray for you. I will pray. God will heal. Eternally. Glory, you will get it. Praise the Lord. This is the time to receive the healing and deliverance, the curse breaking and everything in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I was saying about in the Old Testament, all the children of Israel, they were the servant of God. But in the New Testament, we all are the children of God. We all are the child of God. We all are sanctified or redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We have 
the redemption of our sins in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is the good news today. I want to say to every people, we are sanctified or redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is everything in our life. Praise the Lord. Does it matter? Maybe you have death today. Maybe your life is spoiled. Maybe you are in the point of your death. I want to say, according to the gospel, your life will not be failure in your life. In your entire life, if you are in Christ Jesus, Bible says, the goodness, God bless you. I can pray for the goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. What is the meaning of goodness and mercy? We are living in this world because of our God's mercy. In the New Testament, when we are reading, Matthew chapter 8, Jesus Christ was healing. Again, Jesus Christ was healing. A crippled man. Jesus Christ was healing. A person who was having the blindness. But today, this same God is living here. I want to say to all the people, the people are working in Stratford City Center. This is the right time, right moment, whichever God is giving in your life and accept Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, each and every people, the people are working in this Stratford City Center. Your life will not be a failure. In Christ Jesus, each and every work which you are doing for God, it is accountable in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, all the people in the New Testament, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was having 12 disciples. All the 12 disciples, they were believing. Jesus Christ, He is their Lord and Savior. After the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, all the disciples, they could do the miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. The book of Acts chapter 3, Apostle John and Peter, they were healing a crippled man in the name of Jesus Christ. In all the books, it is well written in Jesus' name. There is healing. I can pray for I need any seconds to come okay? Bible, the entire Bible is written by the powerful name of Jesus Christ. All the Bible, it is written by the inspiration of Holy Spirit. So, all the ladies and gentlemen, all the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, this Bible, the entire Bible is written only for you and me. Another thing I want to say to all the people. I pray for that ambulance, everybody. In the name of Jesus, I bless him. The manifestation of Jesus Christ in this world because of the greatest love towards you and me, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ in you. Give me the mic, give me the mic, give me the mic. Let Can me say something, let me say something. What do you want to say? I'm not going to be pro oh, No, 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 no. Well, what do you want to say? I don't know who you are. What, what do you want to say? Well, I'm going to say something. Is that all right? What do you want to say? I want to sing a song, so. What, it's a Christian song? Yes. Uh, you're going? Very nice, very nice. Because you know that I have to keep this song. Yeah. No, 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 I, I don't. I don't. Let me try. Yeah. No, no, I, I don't. Can I try? I can, I can, I can hold. Uh, I'll, 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 I can hold. If he's all right, no, I, I can hold. Hello? Hello? Mike, check, check, check. Mike.
you are already passed from the death to the life. What the ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Bible says the righteousness of Lord means your position is in the heaven. You are no more sinners in Christ Jesus. So, all the brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, in Christ Jesus, you are perfect. You are sanctified and redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. You have redemption of your sins in Christ Jesus by the Lord. If you are the righteousness of the Lord, Bible says you are saved. You are like the angels of the Lord. You are in the family members of the Lord. So, Bible says the goodness and mercy will follow you in the all the areas of your life. Praise the Lord. All the areas of your life. Say like today, you can decide what you want. Our God is given. Come on, I can pray Come on, I can pray for you. Come on, one minute. I'm calling all of you. I can pray for you. Don't be shy. I can pray for you. All the ladies, sisters, God bless you. Come on. All the ladies and gentlemen, calling is my duty. If you want to come, you can come and receive the healing. Praise the Lord. This is the right time. Tomorrow, I won't be here. Pastor Mike will not be here. But today, this is the right time. We are standing here, preaching this gospel in the public place. This Jesus Christ is a wonderful Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another thing, this Jesus Christ is a merciful Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to finish this session within five minute time. I'm handing over this mic to Pastor Mike. Before that, I want to say to all the people, if you are the depressed people, if you are isolated people, if you are the rejected person in this world, I can say one thing to all of you, our God will protect you. Our God will never leave you, nor forsake you. Come on. Our God is saying, you are the precious one in my hand. Praise the Lord. So this is the right time. Right moment. The people are believing different religion. I want to say, I got the gospel. If you are believing, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Your life will not be a failure in Christ Jesus. All the areas of your life, you can see the success and victory, the Lord's day in Christ Jesus. So, everybody, get ready to accept Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior from today onwards. When you are accepting, your situation will get changed. Your circumstances will get changed. You are getting the heavenly protection from the heaven. All the angels in the heaven will come and get you the protection. So today will be your glorious day in Christ Jesus. I want to say to all the people, please rise up here. Right? Come on. Come on. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for everybody. The people are watching online. The people are hearing this word of God. Heavenly Father, I bless them. All this word of God, it was fulfilling when, when the time of preaching this gospel. The people, those who heard this word of God in their life. I bless the city center. Let us start for by the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hello, I'm handing out this mic to Pastor Mike. Pastor Mike will be preaching under 32, 35 minute time. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you. Father, we thank you, bless you, give you praise, give you glory, give you honor for all things that are together for God, because we love God, those who are called according to your purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. Uh, we greet you, all saints, in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, I've got a good message for you. Message from John chapter 14, verse 1, where the Bible says, Let your heart not be troubled. Believe in God. Also believe in me. I'm preaching and talking about a troubled heart. The Bible says, let your heart not be troubled. Do you have a troubled heart? 
I'm speaking to you right now. The Bible is saying, let not your heart be troubled. What you need to do? Believe in God. Also believe in Jesus. These are the words of Jesus. Jesus saw that people are very much troubled. So he comes in and says, let your heart not be troubled. Are you having a troubled heart? I'm speaking to you right now, to a troubled heart. God said, let not your heart be troubled. What do you need to do for you not to have a troubled heart? The Bible says you must believe in God because many people have got anxiety. Many people have got depression. But God knows your situation. God knows you are having some problems. Now he says, let not your heart be troubled. Above everything else, keep your heart. Do not let your heart be troubled. That's the word of God. Jesus is saying, let not your heart be troubled. You may be facing persecution. You may be facing some difficulty. You may have left your job. You may have lost your marriage. But the Bible is saying, let not your heart be troubled. There are many things that troubles our heart. But today, the word of God is saying, let not your heart be troubled. Yes, God knows things are not going the way you like. Things are not going the way you intended. But the Bible is saying, let not your heart be troubled. Yes, you've got money issues, but let not your heart be troubled. Yes, your marriage, things are not right, but let not your heart be troubled. Yes, you lost friends, but let not your heart be troubled. Yes, you've got distress, but let not your heart be troubled. How can you have untroubled heart? The Bible is saying you need to believe in God. When you believe in God, your troubled heart becomes at easy. When you believe in God, your troubled heart becomes better. That's why the Bible says, do not let your heart. One thing you need to make sure you don't do is letting your heart be troubled. Because some sicknesses come from the heart. Some diseases, they come from the heart. Keep your heart with all diligence. Because out of the heart, that's where the issues of life is. No one can heal your heart, but God can heal your heart. He's saying today, let not your heart be troubled. He knows you are troubled. He knows things are not going the right way. But he's asking you, just believe. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus Christ. When you believe in God, also believe in Jesus. When you believe in God, your heart will not be troubled because God will take care of you, because God will shape your situation, because God will come and intervene. The only way for you to be free, the only way for you to be okay is to let your heart not be troubled. You say, how can I have a free heart which is not troubled? The Bible has given us the answer. Believe in God. That God will change your situation. That God will come to your rescue. That God will touch you. That God will heal you. That God will protect you. That God will set you free. That God will change your situation for the better. That's why you need to have a free trouble, free heart. A heart that is not troubled. A heart that has no anxiety. The heart that is at peace, the heart that is at easy. Do not let your heart be troubled. We have come to let you know that you can have a free and troubled heart. We have come to let you know that your heart can be cured. The Bible says all you need to do is to believe in God. You don't need to work, only believe in God. Also believe in Jesus. That's all you need to do so that you can have a trouble-free heart. God wants your heart. He's saying to you today, your heart must not be troubled. Yes, you can face a lot of things that can make you, hallelujah, think of our tomorrow. You don't know what tomorrow will bring, but God is saying, just believe. Just believe in God, so that you can have a trouble-free heart. John 14, verse 1, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. The only way to have a heart that is not trouble, to have a heart that is no anxiety, to have a heart that is no worries, is to believe in God. That God will turn it around. That God will change my situation. The same John 14, verse 27, he goes on to say, 
Do not let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You are not allowed to have a troubled heart. You are not allowed to have a heart that is afraid. Yes, there are things that will scare you. Yes, there are things that will make you, hallelujah, be afraid. But the Bible says, do not you let your heart be troubled, neither let your heart be afraid. When you are afraid, look to God, believe in God, believe in Jesus. That's what you need to do. But if you believe in the situations, if you believe in the government, if you believe at your, in your work, if you believe in your body, if you believe in your sickness, your heart will be troubled. The only way for you to have a trouble-free heart is to believe in God, believe in Jesus. That's why we are here to let you know we have a deliverer. That's why we are here to let you know we have God who can turn it around. That's why we are here to let you know your heart must not be troubled because we have a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what you can think, what you can imagine. We have a God who makes a way out of no way. That's why he says, do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. Neither need to be afraid. You don't need to be afraid of the future. You don't need to be afraid of the unknown. You don't need to be afraid of your sickness. You don't need to be afraid of your trouble. You don't need to be afraid you lost a job. You don't need to be afraid of any situation that you are in right now. Believe in God. That's all you need to do. And also believe in Jesus. Two people believe in God and believe in Jesus. Do not let your heart be troubled. You, God is saying your heart must be free, free from trouble. How can you have a free heart? How can you have a trouble-free heart? Believe in God. Believe also in Jesus. When you believe in God, when you believe in Jesus, you are setting your heart free. Your heart, your heart, your heart, your heart. I'm speaking to your heart today. I need your heart. I need your heart. I need your heart. The Bible is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Hanaramaka. Believe in the word of God. Believe in Jesus. Believe in God. Do not let your heart be troubled. You have a troubled heart. Your heart is in trouble. Your heart is in trouble. But the word of God is saying today, do not let your heart be troubled. Only the only way you can have a heart which is not troubled is to believe in God. When you believe in God, you don't believe in worries. When you believe in God, you don't believe in anxiety. When you believe in God, you believe in the power from above. Believe also in Jesus for you to have a trouble-free heart. Do not let your heart be troubled. Today, I want to tell you, you need to have to make sure your heart is not troubled. Yes, I know you are facing a lot of difficulty. Yes, I know your life is not in order. Yes, I know your marriage is on the rocks. But I have a word for you. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Also believe in Jesus. What you need to do is to believe in God. When you believe in God, God can turn it around. When you believe in God, God can change your situation. When you believe in God, God will take over. When you believe in God, God will take care of you. Believe in God. Don't believe in your situation. Don't believe in your situation. Don't believe in your sickness. Don't believe in what you are going through. All you need to do, believe in the word of God. Believe in Jesus Christ. Believe in God. When you believe in God, everything will come together. Well, that's all you need to do. There is no money needed. We are not asking for money. We are not asking for anything. All we are asking for is you need to make sure your heart is not troubled. This is what God is saying. Do not let your heart be troubled. He wants you to have a trouble-free heart, a heart that is not trouble, the heart that is free, a heart that is happy. You need to keep your heart, check your heart, your heart, that's where life is, your heart, that's where diseases go in. So the Lord is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. There are many things that can trouble your heart. There are many things that can damage your heart. That's why the Bible says, do not let your heart be troubled, because out of it are the issues of life. Because no one can treat a heart. A heart is very hard to treat. But God is saying, don't be worried. Don't be troubled with your heart. Believe in God. 
and believe in Jesus. When you believe in God and you believe in Jesus, then your heart must not be troubled because you know the creator of the heavens and earth has to take care of your life because you know what doctors cannot do, God can do. Because you know what Sounds men funny. cannot do, God can do. Because you know where you cannot get to, God will take you to that place. Because you know with God all things are possible. That's why he's the only one who can mend your heart. He's the only one who can mend your story. He's the only one who can bring you back to yourself because nothing is impossible with God. Now the Lord is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. We are preaching, we are praising him, we are worshiping him and speaking to a troubled heart. How can I have a heart which is free? Believe in God. That's all you need to do. He will give you a new heart. Believe in God. He can change your story. Believe in God. He can touch you. Believe in God. He can heal you. Believe in God. He can turn things around. Believe in God. He can do it for you. Just believe. You don't need to work. Just believe. You don't need to do anything. Believe in God. Also believe in Jesus. So we have a message for you to make sure your heart is not troubled. To make sure you don't think about the things of the world. To make sure you don't lack anything. What you need to do? Believe. Only believe in God. Believe in the Son of God. Believe in the Word of God. You have a heart that is free. When your heart is free, that's what the Bible says, when the Son of Man, with the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, set you free, and free you are indeed. He's the only one who can free you from all these diseases. He's the only one who can free you from witchcraft. He's the only one who can free you from the power of the devil. God so loved the world, the Bible says, that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever believes in Jesus should not die, but have everlasting life. Glory be to God. God wants your trouble-free heart and speak into your heart today. Let not your heart be troubled. Anything, don't let anything enter. Enter your heart. Your heart is not the workshop of the devil. Your heart is not a place where the devil can enter and play. Your heart must be kept free. Your heart is a heart from God. Your heart is a heart that has the power. Your heart must be free. Do not let your heart be troubled. That's my message. Do not let your heart be troubled. All you need to do, believe in God. And do not let the devil enter your heart. Do not let the devil play with you. Because the devil has no power. God is saying today, hallelujah, you have allowed the devil to enter your heart for a, for a long time. But today, the Bible is saying, do not let him enter anymore. Do not let him trouble you. You don't need to be troubled. I know, yes, things are not right. I know, yes, you are not well. But we have the answer. Who is the answer? Believe in God. Believe in God. Believe in the word of God. Also believe in Jesus Christ. That you have a trouble-free heart. Do not let anything enter. Enter your heart. Your heart, your heart. I'm preaching the word. I'm talking about your heart. The Bible is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. You need a heart that is not afraid. Because many sicknesses, they come from the heart. Any disease that comes from the heart, it's very hard for the doctors to treat those diseases. That's why Jesus is saying today, do not let your heart be troubled. Because out of your heart are the issues of life. Keep your heart, keep your heart free, free, free. You need to have a free heart, a heart of God, a heart that believes that any situation, I'm in it right now, things are not doing right now, but when I believe in God, my situation will change. When I believe in Jesus, everything will be fine. We are allowed not to have a troubled heart. Your heart must not be in trouble. No trouble must trouble you. No sickness must trouble you. When you are sick, when you lost your job, when things are not well, believe in God. That's what you need. Also believe in Jesus. The answer is, when things are wrong, when things are not right, when things are not going your way, all you need to do, believe in God. Believe in Jesus. That's what you need. That's when you have a trouble-free heart. 
But as long as you don't believe in God, as long as you don't also believe in Jesus, your heart will be in trouble. Hallelujah. Because every day you are thinking of cash. Every day you are thinking of money. Every day you are thinking how tomorrow will be like. But the Bible says when you believe in God, God will take over. When you believe in God, God will start working in your life. When you believe in God, God will produce that which you cannot. When you believe in God, God can do what you cannot do. That's why you come to God and you believe in God. Because God can turn it around. God can change your story. God can change your situation on your own. You cannot do it. You are powerless. But God is saying today, do not let your heart be troubled. That's why God works. He's the only one. Why can I not let my heart be troubled? Because when you believe in God, you believe God makes a way out of no way. That's why you make sure your heart is not troubled. Because you know the God whom you believe in. You need to know God is able. God is not man. He does not lie. His word is truth. His word is perfect. Today the word is let not your heart be troubled. Yes, men of God, woman of God, let not your heart be troubled. You need to have a heart that is not in trouble. All you need to do, believe in God. Believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. When you believe, God will take charge. When you believe, God will make it right. When you believe, things will start moving. When you believe, you see your life, yourself getting higher and higher and higher. That's what we mean. Believe on your dreams. Believe what God has spoken. Believe that the word of God will come to pass. Believe that God will take you out. Believe that God will change my story. Believe that God has power to do what you cannot do. That's why the Bible is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. You need to have a heart that is not scared. Because the Bible says, the spirit of God did not give us the spirit of fear. That's not the spirit in us, but it gives us the spirit of power and a sound mind. Today I have a message. The message is, let not your heart be troubled. Don't make your heart trouble must not enter. Trouble must not take office. Trouble must not presidency in your life. Your life, you need to have Jesus. Jesus, when Jesus comes into your life, trouble walks away. When God comes into your life, the devil walks away. When God enters your life, your life changes. You need the move of God, the power of God. Believe in God. Don't believe in trouble. Don't believe in sickness. Don't believe in what is happening in your life. The devil is a big liar. God will turn it around. God will change your story. God will change your situation. My way today, do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Also believe in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Believe in God. Do not let your heart be troubled. Because when you believe in God, God will take away every anxiety, every sickness, every disease, everything that is against your life. Do not let your heart be troubled. We need trouble free. We need the children of God who don't walk by sight but walk by faith. You need to walk by faith. Believe God. Believe that God exists. Believe that God will take you over. Believe that God will turn it around. You need to make sure your heart is not troubled. I'm talking to you. Do not let your heart be troubled. I know you are facing a lot of persecution. I know your life is not right. I know you've got a lot of problems, but the Bible says, do not let your heart be troubled. Let, do not let that thing which is troubling you enter your heart. Do not let that trouble trouble you because you are more than a conqueror. You are a child of God. Do not let your heart be troubled. I know there are many things happening in your life. I know there are many things which are not right. I know there are many things we do not understand. But the Bible is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Yes, the devil can hit you left, right, center. But the Bible is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Yes, the devil has taken your joy, but the Bible is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Yes, you lost your marriage, but the Bible is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Yes, you are looking for a visa, but the Bible is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Yes, you have got sickness in your body. The Bible said, 
do not be troubled. Why can I not be troubled? I believe in God, that God will turn it around. Believe in God, that God is able. Believe in God, that God is who he is. Believe in God, that God makes things beautiful in their own time. Believe in God, that he makes a way out of no way. Believe in God, that he opened the Red Sea. The children of Israel walked on dry ground. Believe in God, that he opened the River Jordan. The children of God walked on dry ground. Believe in God, that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were in the fire, the Lord, hallelujah, quenched the fire. They were in trouble, but their hearts were not troubled. What they could enter, the fire, they say, if our God will fight for us or, are or not, but let it be known that we will worship God. We will believe in God. Their heart were not troubled, even though there was fire. Their heart were not troubled, even there was a lion's den for, for Daniel, but his heart was not troubled. The same word, that's what Jesus is saying. Let not your heart be troubled. Yes, there is trouble, but one thing you know, believe in God and believe in his prophecy. Believe in the power of God. Believe in the move of God. Believe in the hallelujah. You need to believe in God and believe in Jesus. Then you have a heart that is free from trouble. Do not let your heart be troubled. Neither it be afraid. Two things. Heart must not be troubled. Second thing. Do not your heart be afraid. My heart is not allowed to fear. Fear is not part of what God wants you to do. God is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe in the Son of God. Believe in the power of God. Believe, <coughs> believe in the Word of God. You need to believe. Don't believe in anything else, but believe in the power. The power of God. The move of God. Today, God is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. A trouble-free heart. A heart that knows God is able. A heart that believes in Jesus. All you need to do, believe in God. Do not let your heart be troubled. Yes, I know that situation is not going. I know that sickness. You had it for a long time. But Jesus is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Even though there are things that come to take out your joy. Even though there are things that come to paralyze your belief. If then there are things that come to steal the goodness in your life. But let not your heart be troubled. We are talking to a troubled heart. Make your heart free. Make your heart believe. Believe in the word of God. Believe in Jesus. Believe in the King of Kings. Believe in the Lord of Lords. You don't need to be troubled heart. Troubled heart is not allowed in your life, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, no matter the devil. Hallelujah. Hits you left, right, and center. But the word of God is saying, do not let your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. Trouble-free heart. The devil cannot enter. The devil is not allowed in your heart. Keep your heart, keep your heart free, free from fear, free from anxiety, free from the powers of darkness. Keep your heart, keep your heart. Do not let your heart be troubled. Child of God, man of God, don't let your heart be troubled. Your heart is not allowed to be troubled. That's why God is saying, believe in God. When your heart is troubled, believe in God. When things are not going, going well, believe in God. Also believe in Jesus. Don't let your heart be troubled. Your heart must be free, 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 free. Be free. The Bible says, when the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, set you free, free you are indeed. God wants you to have a free heart. Do not let your heart be troubled. Yes, do not let your heart be troubled. No matter what you are going through, do not let your heart be troubled. No matter how hard things are, do not let your heart be troubled. No matter when you look east, south, west, Things seem to be at a standstill. Do not let your heart be troubled. No matter how many enemies you have in your life, do not let your heart be troubled. No matter how many gossipers talk about you, how many haters hate you, do not let your heart be troubled. Keep your heart, keep your heart free and do not let it be afraid. No matter how the devil comes, make sure your heart is not troubled. Make sure your heart is not afraid. Hallelujah. 
the heart. I'm talking to the heart. I want your heart to be free. I want your heart to be free. Free from darkness, free from sickness, free from the power of darkness. Do not let your heart be troubled. That's the word of God. How do I let my heart not be troubled? Believe in God. Also believe in Jesus. Do not let your heart be troubled. Child of God, the word is make sure your heart is not troubled. John 14, 1. Do not let your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. You need to make sure your heart is free. Free from diseases. Free from the devil. Don't allow him to enter you. People may come, speak bad words. Don't let those words enter your heart. Because when they enter your heart, you end up being angry. When they enter your heart, you end up doing great bad things. Don't let the devil enter your heart. You need to be aware that your heart must be free. What do you need to do? Believe in God. Believe in God. Believe in God. They may talk about you. They may, hallelujah, you gossip about you. They may hate you. They may say, oh, hallelujah, hating words against you. But the Bible says, do not let your heart be troubled. Don't be troubled of your persecutors. Don't be troubled of people who are against you. Don't be troubled of people who are always after you. And do not let them enter your heart. Take, make sure they don't enter your heart. Make sure the devil does not make your heart his workshop. Make sure your heart is free. Do not let your heart be troubled. Let the devil do anything in your life, but don't let him enter your heart. Your heart must be free. Do not let the devil enter your heart. Let not your heart be troubled. You need a heart that is free. As I'm about to finish the message of today, let me understand this thing. Do not let your heart be troubled, neither it be afraid. My heart must not be troubled. My heart must not be afraid. Why? Because I'm a child of God. Because God wants me to be free. Why? How do I do that? Believe in God. Believe in Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. We have seen my God. People are having troubled hearts. But you have spoken about God. But let not our hearts be troubled. But to believe in God. To also believe in you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Our hearts not to be troubled, neither to be afraid. We shall not be afraid of whatever comes our way. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are preaching powerful word of God. I know. The lots of people, they could hear the word of God right now. Praise the Lord. Pray for you, Lord. Can I pray for you, one Okay. Come on. Anything? Do you have any sickness? No. Come on. Come on. Stand here. I can pray. What's your name, sister? What's your name? Lily. Father, in the name Lily. of Jesus, I pray for Lily right now. In Jesus' name, Father. I bless uh, sister and all the family in Jesus' name. Rita Takala, Ladu, Ragini. Rita Takala, Ladu, Ragini. Spiritually, I bless you right now in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Please help me around here. Praise the Lord. Any sickness? Come forward. I can pray for you. Hallelujah. How are you? Any sick people? Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. How are you doing? This is a time the time to receive the healing. Praise the Lord. Yeah. This is the time I to receive the deliverance. Does it matter which country you are from? Does it matter what is your situation? Does it matter what is your circumstances? Our God is ready to heal you today. Come on. I can pray for the government. Yes. Don't feel shy. Praise the Lord. Uh, Tomorrow we, we won't be here. We find the way. Tomorrow I will be in other place. Oh, so we just, yeah, Any of the um, people need the healing, come forward. Don't feel shy. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the London, all the street people, yeah, we need to speak each other. all the people are walking here. Exactly. You are served because we need, we need to by the blood of Jesus Christ. So today, today evening, I want to declare this word of God to everybody in Jesus' name. You cannot be a failure. In Jesus' name, everybody, each and every people will be getting eternal life, eternal glory, everlasting life in Christ Jesus. So today, 
I want to encourage you all the people, come back to the Lord. And receive this powerful name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray before I close this session. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all the people, especially the people are walking here. The people are here this morning. I bless them. Let this power and anointing move from city to city, from all the cities of London. In Jesus' name of yes. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All the people are watching online. Share this gospel message. Praise the Lord. When you are sharing, oh, we are doing good. such a powerful job for God. <laughs> Thank you very much. God oh, yes. bless you. We are going back uh, to the home right now. Praise the Lord. She wants to sing a song for the Lord. Come for it. Come and sing a song. Come forward. What's your name? Sorry. Sister, want to sing one song? Sing. 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 Focus there. Focus there. Stand here. Let him stand here. Come back. I have found a friend when life seemed not worth living. I found a friend so tender and forgiven. I can conceive. How such a thing could be that Jesus cares for even me. Each day, each night, my faith in Him is growing. He's ever there, His love is overflowing. I have no fear, my worldly cares are few. I can depend on Him. To see me through, I can. I found a friend, and he's your friend. I found a friend, and now he walks beside me. He's come to guide. To comfort and to guide me, I can conceive how such a thing could be that Jesus cares for even me. Each day, each night, my faith in Him is growing. He's ever there, His love is overflowing. I have no fear, my worldly cares are few. I can't depend on him to see me I found a friend, and he is your friend too. Hallelujah, good melody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody give wonderful clap. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> we Hallelujah. are celebrating the victory of Jesus Christ together. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, we are still alive. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, you're just occupied. You're all a passing by.